Uh, so basically, how you make this bass. It takes time because I have a lot of effects on it. I mean, obviously, you can see I've frozen the MIDI and flattened it in Ableton, but I can still go over it. Um, <clears throat> so this is the instrument rack. Let me see if I can play it. I wonder if I can. Essentially, what it is is um, I have a serum patch here. Okay, for some reason it's not loading, even though I have the latest serum. I don't know why it does that. Um, I literally. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can. I could probably remake it really easy here. Actually, it's better if I remake it anyways, because then you can see how I made it. So, delete this. Hopefully, it doesn't fuck that up. The chain. Also, it's taking forever to load because it's a huge project. <coughs> um, it's loading. So, I have this serum patch. It's super simple. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I remember how to make it. It's basic shapes. I don't have any, like, wavetables. I just have the default stock um, serum wavetables, so you should be able to make this yourself. I believe I used these. Then, I think, yeah, this is level down. I just make like a short, gunny, hello faux shape. Let's take this. Let me solo this as well. Cool, and then I had, I believe I was FMing. I used to go higher. And then I believe I had um, bend as well. I had another LFO, something like this. It's on the course to make it more zappy. Something like that. Um, let's see. Go up higher. Pretty zappy. Some noise here. Something like that. Multi band compression. Upper dimension. I think I had it like this. Distortion. I think I had some delay. Let me see. Maybe a little bit less mix. Oh, I see you want this on envelope. You don't want it playing multiple times. You only want it to play once. Um, and I had chorus as well. But using this. But I had this, I think that's about it, let me see. Yeah, it sounded something like that. Um, and then I had this Caval snare layer. Uh, I don't think I was using it in this instance, but the first, like, over here, and this one, I was using it, but on the second one over here, I wasn't using it, but I'm going to use it, here's it, so, I had that, and I shortened it, and let me see, I've to fade this out a little bit. I don't want it to like bring out or whatever. I want it to be smoother. And I put a pitch. Uh, I put a pitch effect on here because I don't know why it's 37. It should be 36. Um, because it plays three octaves too low. Since I'm playing at like sub and bass octaves, it's placed 
throughout those two lobes. So I had to put a pitch on this so that way this narrow tonal layer is like this tonal layer isn't being played throughout those two lobes. And I'm processing this with the fat rack, which is just like basic base processing. It's nothing special. Um, the only thing I'm doing is just using like uh, non stuck plugins. But if you know how to make a base fat rack, if you don't, I can make a separate video. But um, I have EQ3s, which are like kind of emulating dispersers. I have dispersers, but I just like the, the sound of these better. Uh, That's just my opinion. I have two of them. I have three of them actually. I have an OTT. 100% depth, 100% uh, 1000 percent time. The only thing I'm really doing here is lowering the out gain because without. It's pretty loud. I'm having a gate because I believe without. Yeah, you to, I don't want like the excess sound to get out. I have a saturator to make it a little bit louder. And you tell you to bring it back down again because it does get very loud again. And then I have a hybrid reverb. Which gets um, automated throughout the song for like, fake outs and stuff. Uh, then I have the sub. Which is a sine wave with white noise, the pitch bend, and I'm using OTT. Uh, it's probably not normal to put OTT on your sub. I don't know. I do it. Sounds fine for me. Uh, I'm using distortion kilohertz. I'm going 15 dB up on the drive, and then I'm the slice EQ. I am getting rid of these mids and this like hissing white noise a little bit because the mids are uh, pretty muddy, and I don't like that. So, and then I'm using a saturator to make it a little bit louder and a utility as well. Oh, that's outside the process. That's just to make the sound in general louder. My bad. I thought that was inside. I'm using this uh, this effect right here. It's an Ace Aura glitch. Basically, what I did. The original sample is like a couple seconds long, but I just wanted like a bit of it, just a little bit. That way, it, it kind of. And I wanted to shape it the same way I did with this sub. So I should probably make this a little bit shorter and one shot and fade out. You want to keep this on one shot usually doing something like this like layering because that way you can fade it out that way it's cleaner I'm processing this with the flat rack as well some EQ to get rid of those lows you hear that mud you don't want that and then using utility to bring it down a little bit because it was pretty loud and then together it sounds like this See, afterwards I consolidated that or like I froze it and then I flattened it out and then you go down here I even did more effects I did some parallel processing here for the sub and like the mids or like the bases and up and then I just so basically like I'm doing here with parallel processing from what I understand is like uh, frequency splitting like I'm splitting the frequencies here so that way because I want to I want to change the bass itself without affecting the sub. So I'm um, here. I have the bass solo. If I can, oh, I'm sorry, right here. I'll play this. I should probably cut a little bit more, to be honest. There we go. So I'm, I'm doing some parallel processing here, and I'm. I'm soloing the sub here, and then I'm soloing like the bass, like mids and up. So I'll play this. I have some EQ here to like solo the bass sound itself without affecting the sub. And I have a vocoder. I turned the def up by 132 percent, and you can also see. If, I don't know. This should be on. I don't know why it's not on. Re-enable. Automating. The format. I'm also automating the dry wet of this flanger. And I'm also automating this reverb. Let me show you the automation. Oh, this should be on. I don't know why it's not on. Uh, the hell? Automation. This should be on. I don't know why it's not. Can I turn this icon? 
so like this show animation how do I fix this oh here re enable sorry I'm um, doing like a reverb swell so that way uh, over time as the bass plays it kind of gets uh, wider in a way or it's more sucked into the, the drop I'm also in the driveway of this uh, hybrid reverb I'm just using as a convolution so over time it gets more colorful and then I'm using the EQ section here to uh, like cut out the sub or like the lower frequencies that way like the sub doesn't get convolutioned did it whatever the fuck I don't know you probably know what I mean but I don't want this sub to be affected by this even though I already have the sub separated I still don't want those lower frequencies to get affected by this just like those higher frequencies and together it sounds like this <laughs> <laughs> 